Greetings. This is your brother Elder Blacklight, your motivator. So, this is part two. Stand up and step to the Uncle Sam. See, we act like this, uh, this country is legitimate. This is an illegitimate set up. They didn't broke their own constitution. Went against their own constitution. And they playing every dirty trick in the book to keep the black man in check. So let me play this right here. day and every night. So it's going to take attorneys, it's going to take the community standing up, and it's going to take a few other things. You got to step to this cracker or it will never, never, never. You can moan, you can groan, you can sing, you can pray, you can recite, you can claim you know all the Quran, Old Testament, I mean uh, all the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, the Quran from our Fatiha to our Nas. You can know all the Medunetas. You can know Maya, truth, justice, righteousness, harmony, balance, order, reciprocity. You can name those of the Netra system. You can go and study the Odu text and substantiate your position according to Odu. You can study the Ifa or the word or the Akon or the Yoruba and run through the pantheon of the Orishi. You can call on Oludumare. You can call on Elekba and Shango and Obatula and Oshun and Ogun and Yemonya. You can know all of them unless you're willing to stand up and step to this white man. We will never get out of this condition. Frederick Douglass said the limits of a tyrant is prescribed by exactly how far you will let that tyrant go. He won't stop if you don't stop him. Just like any bully, the bully will keep picking on you until you get him to raise up off of you. Some of us will lose our lives. Tupac is gone already. Biggie is gone already. Many of us, Yusuf Hawkins is gone already. Many of us are already dead and we die every day. And while we're here in Queens tonight, Black men and women and young black boys are dying at the hands of some cracker somewhere in America right now. I would rather die for a cause than to die because. My name is Imam Akbar Abdullah Kareem Bilal. I am the National Chief of Staff for the New Black Panther Party for Self-Defense. Okay. We've been brought here to Sheriff Road and Eastern to bring the attention to the corridor that exists between Eastern Avenue and Sheriff, which extends itself through Minnesota Avenue all the way to Good Hope Road. And there have been many incidents of all flavors. Uh, I think the Trumpism idea is both sides. Well, see these brothers here, these old brother, he around my age. But he still got fight in him. He ain't sold out. You know. Fighting the police. See. Whether or not you want to believe it or not. It's the police. I believe. This is just my. Scenario. That the police. The one that. Staged that the murder of uh, Nipsey. I believe that uh, there's a whole lot of people in on it. You know, uh, you know, a lot of times, uh, brothers do good for the community. 
but they got to deal with the with Satan. You know, a lot of times it ain't their choice. Satan comes in on them and tells you, "You either deal with me, I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse, or I take care, I knock, I, I kill everybody in your family." A lot of times it go down like that. See, as long as we take the Federal Reserve's money, you could call it, uh, you could call it a crypto dollar, you know, because it's really kryptonite to the black man. See, uh, the electric dollar. If he decides to no longer print paper money and put the money in electricity or have electric money, he could turn off the he could pull the plug on on uh, the money anytime he want to. Then what you gonna do? He already took the gold and the silver, you know, and put the paper down in place, you know. So we could come up with all kind types of scenarios if, if Nipsey did, if he's not dead. But you know the police is involved in it. How do I know this? I know it by the way they got uh, TMC involved. It's a government operation, you know, and the way it's set up, only the government could uh, control the media, can control. The fire, the, the fire trucks, police cars, all those witnesses disappearing, uh, control the cameras, you know, it was a, it was a big, a big production, just like 9-11. 9-11 was a bigger production because it was more money involved. Now I speculated that it was stealing of money, millions, billions of dollars, and insurance. You know, they steal. They, this is a, a corrupt government. And they got you working for nothing. You think you're working for money. Just because you can buy all the cars. Just because you can buy a big house. But you get the money right back to the one that gave it to you. Other ethnic groups ain't stupid as you. They... Got a, they sent it back to the motherland, to their to they motherland. The Middle Easterners or the Arabs or the Chaldeans, and they sent it back overseas to help fight the, the war that they in. The uh, Chinese, they, they sent it back to China. All your uh, products over here in America that you buy, your televisions, uh, Either come from Japan or China, made in China. Even your cars got parts made in China or made in Japan. America, Uncle Sam got the black man and black woman as collateral. And everyone comes over here and feeds off with a black man and black woman. 
And so he tricks you into to believing that you're equal as the black as the white man because you can move in a house that costs a, a million dollars. You just rent from me. <laughs> you just rent from me. You know. And all your insurance comes from the white man. All your licenses comes from the white man. All your birth certificates come from the white man. He's your God. And you ain't woke up to that fact yet. The only way you can win this war is to unite, stand up, and step to the white man. You get you should be getting tired of being made a sucker. Tired of being murdered. Tired of being a dope fiend. So your dope fiend know, know the deal, but they can't do nothing but, you know, they feel like I can't do nothing but get high. The dope man think he's, oh, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a big shot. He'll kill his own brother in his neighborhood, but won't go up against the real enemy. Just to, just to have chains, gold chains. You know, you just fronting for your, you know, you just want to show off in front of your brothers and sisters. I'm, I'm Mr. Big. Bow down to me. <laughs> Scared of the white man, though. Like Larry Moore and, and Curly. The Three Stooges. Somebody come and slap. Uh, Mo, I think it's Mo. Mo slapped Curly and Curly. No, Mo slapped Larry and Larry slapped Curly. They ain't gonna slap the guy that slapped down. He too big for him. Yeah. But see, I know, I know our people ain't like that. I know we stronger than that. We just. You know, I don't know what's wrong with us now. But the darkest hours are before dawn. This is black light.